very well in, in New York, all of, of Indian or Asian orientation. And the conversation they had on that table, and I actually walked out <coughs> an hour before that dinner ended, because I was completely disgusted with their, their thoughts and their ideologies about Islam, about Muslims, about their, their, their perception of the religion and what they thought. They're educated, affluent, mm. well-traveled people. True. And it appalled me that they, with all that education, knew nothing and were talking complete nonsense. And I said, you know, I'm not Muslim. But I'm human, I'm a human being and I've been taught certain values by my parents. And I felt that people who have these graduation certificates lying so potently placed in their, yeah. in their draw, in drawing rooms and they show off their so-called uh, liberal attitude towards the world at large, if they can go against an entire community on the basis of certain information they read in the New York Times or hear the news, yeah. I think then that is something that needs to be addressed by at least me, as a filmmaker, I have a platform that's impressionable. Mm. And that's the reason why I took it up. Um, Shahrukh, <coughs> have you ever experienced uh, the prejudice? Of course, Kabir has spoken about, you know, not getting a US visa a few times because of your name. Uh, you were stopped famously uh, at an airport, held on to for a couple of hours. <coughs> Some people thought that was a prelude to, you know, my name is Khan. Yeah, right. <laughs> Obama's on our speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> but have, have you... Let's say post 2611, do you feel, and because Najib Jung has written about this, that the pressure on Muslims to wear their patriotism, to wear their badge of loyalty, do you feel that even at your stage in life, somehow that, that you are looked upon as a Muslim to make that condemnation clear all the time, that, you're, that even you are expected to clarify your position on your religion, and terrorism and fundamentalism and all the rest of it. See, I'll, I'll, I'll be very honest. I mean, uh, what I say sometimes on public platforms, and I say them because I'm an entertainer, I'm an actor, but I don't think uh, ever, ever if I'm a, a question uh, or have to clarify my stand on being a Muslim or an Indian, I would actually, from my heart, never clarify it. But yes, of course, if somebody's not understanding it, I'd say it. I've had no uh, big prejudice against me, and that's what I want all the young Muslims to know very, very clearly, wherever they are coming from, that first let's just get that out of our heads, that people are prejudiced. But is that see, because you're Shah Rukh Khan? Uh, I, I don't know. See, Before uh, you were Shah Rukh Khan, I guess those were different times. You we know, I was we didn't 25, live in, 20 yeah. to 25 is the time I can talk about, but I've never, never, never been picked on uh, about my, uh, you know, uh, the, the religion I belong to. And I really want this to be very clear. If we keep on also thinking, see, forget the fact that there is a certain section of people, because of the action of certain section of people, think that Islam is a violent religion. Accept it. But we as uh, Muslims, I think we need to be very clear. Let's take this out that I need to explain it. Like, I'll tell you very honestly, my kids get stopped at um, security because their name is Khan also. It comes on that in America specifically. They have those SSS mm -hmm. things on it. They go, so they say, why are we stopped? So I say, you know, it's fun. We are special. So they just go on. They really do. They, we're taken to a different section with those feet on the ground. So they just stand and I say, we are special. You know, you guys are stars. So, you know, hopefully they'll grow up thinking they're Muslim. But I don't have any issue with it because I think it's all right. If action of some people have put a little blot or uh, to say the least, on the whole religion, I think we need to accept it and say it's all right and we're not paying a price for it. Uh, that I won't do. I will never but try to natural. tell anyone. I'm not going to justify anyway and to anyone how good it is to be a Muslim. I'm not going to justify to anyone how wonderful it is to be an Indian. But I'm very clear that yes, we have to accept the fact that there is a blot. There is some kind of a dog. Mm -hmm. And if it is there, certain things are going to be said against us. This is the life we lead. These are the times we have created. This is the world we have chosen upon ourselves by the action of you. Now, that is why it is more important that if all of us start thinking like this, okay, look, uh, let me go and let Karan decide. I like this guy. <coughs> Ui Shahrukh. He's talented. He's an actor. And yes, I'm not a specialist in my religion. I'm not a specialist. Yeah. Many a times people ask me, do you do this? And I'm like, no, but I'm still a Muslim. Yeah. Do you do this? Like even singing and dancing, in a certain sense, in a, in a very uh, uh, orthodox, orthodox sense, yeah. is yeah. the wrong thing to do. But I live, I make a living out of singing and dancing. So how do I explain? My logic is, please can we understand the, all the clergy, all the uh, mullahs, all the ulemas who know that they're specialists. Just because I'm not a specialist does not make me less of a Muslim. But that's the hub in a sense of the debate. Najib Jung, you wrote a very interesting piece saying <coughs> every time there's a terror attack, the, the Muslims are asked upon to prove their patriotism, you know, uh, in an overt way. But in a sense, what we're hearing here is that these are the times we live in. I remember uh, Saif saying after Kurban, Karan, that, you know, that old cliche that all 
uh, that we have to recognize the fact that while all Muslims are not terrorists, all terrorists in the way that we recognize them on the global stage are Muslim. Barkha, karma aate rahe, Hindustan banta raha. It's 1200 years, 1300 years since the Muslims started coming to India. The Muslim is part of the DNA of India now. There is no denying that. What is concerning and disconcerting are, are posters like this. Where is this Muslim? I don't know. The Muslim of today is a regular guy. And which is, which indeed, image disconcerts you in particular? The skull cap and the beard, the woman yeah, in the burqa? There's a gentleman sitting next to you with the skull I, cap I and the beard. I entirely agree. I entirely yes. agree. But this, and this, this type is perhaps less than a percent in India. The other guys are completely regular. I have a university with 20,000 boys and girls. The girls are dressed as these boys here, or the girl, these girls here. The boys are like this. You are a product. Kabir is a product of, of Jamia. Yeah. Are you different? The young Muslim of India today is part of this. India is in his DNA. He is looking for jobs here. He is looking to lead a life here, a regular life here. And so it hurts him a bit if there is a riot, if there is a program in, in, in Gujarat, which he believes is state managed. So are you saying, in a sense, and that's interesting, because that's where I found the difference in Kabir and, and Shah Rukh's argument when you talk about the... That's why the Namaz scene is so compelling, because maybe, Najib, you would argue that when Shah Rukh wears his skull cap in, in the film, that's the stereotype of a Muslim that isn't the dominant image of the modern Indian Muslim. No, the skull cap wearing during a cap is only a mark of respect that you, when you bow to the Almighty, your head is covered. And therefore, the skull cap is just symbolic of that thing. But in India, when the Islam came in and well, there was a huge influence of, of Hinduism over Islam in a way, then they learned to cover their heads. But that's only a mark of respect. Islam nowhere mandates to you that you should be covering your head all the time. Dr. Nayak, uh, you know, you, you're on TV more than I am. Uh, so, <laughs> but, but the image, this construct of this image, which Najib says is actually offensive to a lot of people of our generation. Where does this construct come from? That when you think of the Muslim in visual images, almost always is somebody like yourself. Uh, actually, as far as Muslims are concerned, when I see a Muslim wearing a cap, having a beard, I mean, I'm proud of it. When I see a lady covering her head, I'm proud of it. First, you should understand what is the meaning of the word Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. And Islam, to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslims. To understand Hinduism, don't look at the Hindus. Go to the original scriptures. So if you go to the scriptures, the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, I mean, I'm sorry I differ with uh, uh, Brother Najib, there are various Hadith in Sahih Bukhari if you read volume number 7, in the uh, uh, book of dress, that the Prophet covered his head. So covering the head is the sunnah of the Prophet. 